Who are we going to agree with? Oh no. Is there tension? Also, I realize as we go versus Max, I've got Max on the left. That's a mistake anyway. I'm very confused by all of this, but I do know that some of it is... <laughs> I laughed like hell. Um, there right. is an individual who is sort of becoming known as the Keemstar of WoW, um, yes. which, uh, I mean, th- surprisingly, it's not us, so... Phew. Um, oh, no, we don't um, do, like, vague Twitter engagement bidding for X revenue. That's it. But I can confirm that I am fast as boy. No. Uh, yes, uh, but I think the thought here is that it uh, is maybe not a sort of a healthy thing. And you, I mean, honestly, I think if you look at, say, the Keemstar and uh, Drama Niche and the kind of YouTuber cancel thing that was going on, um, you know, that was, I think, obviously pretty brutal and horrible. Uh, you know, like that whole uh, that whole fun situation. Um, I mean, that's, what, 2015, 16. But I suppose taking a look here... Um, so am I right, Matt, in saying that there is a viral clip going around of Asmongold talking about where he thinks World of Warcraft should go? There and is. Uh, it We've seems it that down here. it seems that he, some of his opinions, are being validated by him and his friends enjoying Plunderstorm because it's a bit more, uh, you know, reduced toolkit, less numbers. Yes. Uh, so obviously. Uh, you know, there's that. Now, Max also does really enjoy Plunderstorm, but, uh, you know, he's the GM of um, of, uh, of Liquids. who are pretty good at WoW, I think. Yeah. World second. Who knows? World second, you like? Max and Scribe will be a... Actually, what needs to happen in the Crater Clash is everyone just needs to, like, walk away and just let Max and Scribe finally 1v1. <laughs> mm. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the way. It should just be have the leaders duel in AO, have representatives... No, oh yeah, it's like, you know, when you're going to do a battle where you're like, we could have a battle and everyone could get killed, or yep. you and me are going to 1v1 and uh, stop the battle. I think that happened in the past in a few instances. But they sure love doing that in movies. Anyway, uh, how do we how do we do this? So You put this together, guide me, Obi Kenobi Wan. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to highlight how unserious this whole thing is. Because, and I was laughing my uh, sides apart. I was going to say something different there. Uh, Sophie goes, JD instigates beef between Liquid Max and Woe's Keemstar. After Maxman put his foot down against the drama bait and Keemstar looking at Swell Twitter user, JD took upon himself to step up and fulfill the role, which then you go to. That is a image of JD's tweet, which is a retweet of Max's tweet, who retweets and Tice saying, you know, Council Gets Her Soul's cringe. Which is this one. Which is the original tweet. Yes. We finally reached this the source. This is the original one, which is saying that Max is going to make a response video to Asmogold's takes on how to fix WoW. Because he's close to hitting his boiling point, which is actually is a quote. Which is, obviously, he says at some point, someone who actually Hang plays... On. Does, some, that, yeah. does that mean that Max is canonically cooked? Uh, he's about to become Steam Max. <laughs> That's it. Liquid is the number two rated guild, but maybe Steam is the number one. <laughs> That's it. Steam versus Echo. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, very good. So, uh, uh, so um, realistically, like, Asmogold, this then goes to Asmogold's uh, thing, which is, after saying the simplicity of Plunder Storm believes it's coming shortly, how to fix WoW. And I've got them summarized. That, why is that here twice? No, because he said this. The only audience at retail WoW caters to anymore is hardcore sweaty nerds who want to contrive the game and use for our career, make WoW fun again, which is blatantly no, untrue. Mofa. 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 Which is absolutely blatantly untrue to anyone who plays retail World of Warcraft. Yes. Um, and uh, there's a lot of responses here too, as well. We'll get into what he said and like Max's potential response stop. after. But this is a lot of the uh, responses. You may notice quite a few of them are, in fact, retail WoW players who may be described as hardcore sweaty nerds. Uh, but like, here's a list, this is a list of things that destroy WoW. 40 man rain, something no one wants, lost me there. 100% make it casual, the top always found the niche. I suggest he cleans up his room, well that's, that's unreasonable. I uh, agree Hang that 40 mans, too many people insta lag. That's the number it. one rule for life. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh, don't bring him up, fuck me. Um, as we call as a dirty um, room in bad posture. Yeah. Straight to the pit! Uh, I have depicted you as a Zodiac. Uh, a lot of smaller guilds died when they made Mythic 20. Yeah, bring back Tamans. So this is just a lot of... This is like the top selection of people's responses. Okay. Um, so, so this is this is what, what Asmongold actually said. 
And I think that's the, because Max hasn't said anything outside of maybe someone who plays retail WoW should actually make something. And then he said how But he is steamed. Like he is going to get bodied because Asmongold's got a larger following, which is a topic of conversation I could not be fucking bothered with because all this, ah, oh, you, you have so much followers punching up, punching down. I don't give a shit. Um, I want to talk with the Tyler, the creator tweet. Yeah. Is the solution. Uh, I not would, for generalized, uh, like sort of, you know, bullying and side rolling stuff. Cause that's extremely serious and important. Um, but there is a degree to that, that if you are a person who purposefully exposes, uh, you know, parts of your life online, you need to embody the Tyler, the creator tweet where it's just like, Yo, dog, put your phone down. Say bye to the back. Now, obviously, you do read criticism. You do take it on board. Like, yeah. that's good. But even, you know, there's there's times where people might get, like, super angry at me. At the end of the day, I put this thing down. I do something else. And you have a good life. Yeah. Uh, yes. Touch grass. That's the phrase. Yeah. That's the phrase. It's really, um, there's a couple of uh, chat comments here that I want to uh, particularly mention because uh let's see obviously fragberry says the game's kind of right games or asmus kind of right the game's coming min max kid keeping i actually disagree and uh because i think they both have points yeah because autumn says i'm extremely upset we have to see or see read or watch what these mouth breathers are saying we're talking about them or us um so anyway. i'm, I'm <laughs> man as I if there were any real thermometer of the state of wow I should think we're above that. So, a lot of why I entered this segment as being clearly parody. Yes. Because if you think this is serious, I have a fucking bridge to sell you. And obviously opening all this stuff of people just taking the piss out of uh, WoW's Keemstar, uh, trying to make things more important than they seem to be. Probably innocently enough, but it just kind of comes across that way. Where it seems hey, like that, it is seems the, that is the power of being yeah. able to use bolded text as a part of your X Premium subscription. Yeah. But obviously, not X Premium Plus. Yeah, so... <laughs> The reason I actually wanted to bring this up is because I think people are going to be talking about the community and I genuinely think we have some, we, we have a horse in this race as players mm. and I would like to talk about what Asmogold suggests because I think it is indicative of a lot of what feedback for World of Warcraft developers and the game mm. actually looks like. So so I'm, I'm very uncomfortable because right now there is an entire fence post up my ass as I find myself somewhat between <laughs> these two people. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Well, yeah, 19 inches of fence. Um, yeah. So... We'll talk, uh, yeah, so Max hasn't said anything real, really yet. He said, he, I think that he's like planning a response video or something, which I'm sure we'll talk about when it happens, but... Uh, does, that, does that make us end uh, n Yes, but with a moral high ground, because we're going to talk about the game. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, basically, you know the way uh, React content is uh, utterly soulless and garbage, unless people have actual aggregation and yes. discussion to it? Um, I'm going to try to do the latter part. Instead of just saying, there's drama. <gasps> uh, I don't give a shit. Um, it is funny, but I don't really care in the grand scheme of things. So what we should talk about is what Asmongold actually said. Asmongold thinks the sky is blue, but Max says the sky is actually green. What will happen? That's an interesting one. I know. That's why I did it. <laughs> Do you know about... Uh, no, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Um, but... So Asmogold basically said after seeing Plunderstorm and like it being reasonably successful, people liking it with a simplified gameplay that's obviously, you know, you've got attack, hail, four abilities and item. That's a whole seven buttons. He says all classes should be, this is how to fix all, remake all classes to be easier, less than or equal to 10 spells. Okay. All raids removed, 40 man raids put in their place, and around as hard as all the war hard modes, generally a lot easier with more people. Mm. And with no exceptions, remove all add-ons. Okay. All right. Um, this is my opening comment, uh, but you can go on ahead. What What would you say to you? Yeah, well, Asmund Gold Warcraft? is obviously, and uh, he's basically obviously and transparently wrong. He's asking for a new game. And I actually think that new game he's asking for would probably be sick. Because I also agree with him that Plunderstorm is really fun and the approachability, the reduced button count, I think it's a really major part of that fun. And also, if you reduce the accessible button count, then, you know, you're kind of creating lots of, uh, you know, sort of choice in your, you know, your builds, your play styles, a lot of these things that we talk about with action RPGs. Uh, but the problem here is you don't go and do that to something that other people are enjoying. This should be, you know, it should be additive. It shouldn't be subtractive. And uh, I think it is unnecessarily callous and creates unnecessary divisions if you kind of 
present that in a way that is so inflammatory that tells people who currently enjoy the game that, you know, they're like sweaty nerds and, you know, all of this shit, uh, because we're all sweaty nerds, actually. Um, and no, not all of us want to turn WoW into an eSport. Obviously, like, the second I was, I, I also do not watch the MDI or, you know, I don't care about the eSports WoW stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think there are many great points. Yes. And there are certainly lessons that could be taken from some of these. But modern WoW is what modern WoW is. And if you want to try something, you know, new and different, then the new and different thing should be tried uh, somewhere else. Not the current game. I mean, I'm okay with going in a direction. And I think that there are certainly lessons, certainly lessons there. And those lessons can be applied. But you don't just go in and do a big hatchet job and something that people already enjoy. You know, that's just disrespectful to, um, that's just disrespectful to them, which, uh, you know, I, I don't think is, is the move. You know, we, we don't really kind of need that load of, uh, I don't know, a load of drama stuff. Um, I, I mean, remove all add-ons from Modern WoW. Like, man, that ship has sailed. Again, if I was doing a new game right now, I would have a lot of UI customization, you know, all that. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't do add-ons in the way that WoW does add-ons. Um, if I was doing a new game now, I would probably, you know, look, as as many people, I have a big hard-on for the work of Dieter Rams. So the idea of less but better is deeply appealing to me. I would totally, yeah, I'd probably do less abilities. Um, I think one of the strengths, actually, in the Plunderstorm game mode is the uh, basically cast times feel like they matter more. A lot of the spatial stuff feels like it matters more. And I think that allows you to have buttons that have way, way, way more depth. Like, you know, your, you know, your big star bomb, like, do you use that to try to kill somebody by comboing it with something else? Like, you know, the pulsing freeze. I love the pulsing Snow freeze. Drift. I love Snowdrift. Man, it shuts down Flame World. So good too. Uh, and anyway, no, I, I love doing that. Or hell, even imagine if, you know, your, uh, your flame thingy got shut down by the by the, the snow drift, that would be cool. Uh, but like, I think that that like positional aspect and um, just, I, I would call just the physicality of, of, of using your abilities in, um, uh, in, in Plunderstorm is amazing. So with that, you can get so much more out of so fewer buttons. And I think that is genuinely the better direction to go in with a brand new video game. How do you apply that to World of Warcraft? I mean, that's kind of tricky because you end up in the Torghast situation where if you have, say, the Drakthir ability, what, what I mean is this, say if you just really try to index more on the Drakthir style abilities with your charge-ups and, you know, your big movement and all of those things, eventually you run into a problem where some of these things are mixing like water and oil. The problem with Torghast, in a way, with some of its gameplay, is that World of Warcraft and some of what they tried to do mixed like oil and water. They didn't really work out that well. Again, we talked about the problem with white damage in something like that. And the idea that perfect play should basically mean you can avoid all incoming damage while still going fast. It's like a core thing in so many, uh, you know, roguelike games. Part of why, you know, Torghast doesn't work. Uh, so Also, why M plus doesn't work at the yeah. highest level or why there is a hard cap at M plus because is it targeted abilities. Yeah. You just get scaled into Turbo Fuck Town and it's impossible. Yeah, the boss does pulsing AoE and at some point, if the boss does one pulsing AoE damage, at some point it'll do enough to kill you. Yeah. Like there's some games that have a truly nightmarish highest difficulty mode. I'm sure the hardest difficulty mode of Devil May Cry 5 is like that. Uh, I don't know what that game is like for unavoidable damage. I have to assume this. Not a humongous amount. Uh, there is, I'm, or you can play around it. In every case. Considering there is the game mode and or the difficulty in all games called Dante Must Die, in which he dies in one hit. Yes, no. Okay. Yes. So you can not get hit. There's like a fundamental thing there, yeah. I suppose. Um, but yeah, don't like. It's tricky with add-ons because uh, I don't know if people watched our Mythic video. We discuss the issues that have existed with private auras and how they've actually had a counterintuitive effect. I view private auras as being a bit like misguided government regulation sometimes, where you could try to regulate an industry because something is acting anti-competitive and like, you know, thumbs up to that in principle. But the incumbents are the people who have the resources and they can use those resources to get around the regulation. Take GDPR. GDPR compliance is uh, hard. And if you are a super big megacorp, you actually love GDPR. 
because you have the resources to deal with it, your competition may not. And yeah, so private auras ran into that problem where people in the absolute best guilds, yeah, the weak aura couldn't do everything, but people in their guild can make a macro that puts the damage or puts the details that the weak aura needs into the weak aura. And they get around it. So now private auras have meant that you actually need even more bespoke development work to get the absolute best set up for a raid. Meaning Echo and Liquid can do it. But your top 50 mythic guilds, top 100, top 200, top 5,000 can't. And then that's why you see a lot of, you know, flipping normal heroic Andes like us be like, oh, Private Aura seems like a really good idea in principle. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm doing that to us. Um, but, you know, we see the idea of those and like, oh, that's really cool. And then, you know, it actually happens and you, you know, watch how it plays out. What's that? Principles fall apart when they run into execution and details. Yeah. Really? That's going to be a lesson uh, we as a community in, in gaming as a whole will learn very, very, very soon. Oh my God. Um, I think. Uh, I certainly have. Yeah, I may or may not have tweeted about that very recently. It, yes. look, it's, it's like that thing about the, the libertarian stuff. Like, you know, that was definitely a side that I was a lot more sympathetic to in the past. And a lot of those ideas I still, you know, I like, I like. But no, you got to pr be pragmatic and look in the real world. And yeah. look how things actually play out. Yeah, that's like my whole, that's my whole thing with um, it's Dragon's like, Dogma. The minute, like people talk about like a sugar tax or a tax on um, what you call them cigarettes, yeah. uh, and it's like in a way I'm like get out of get out of get out of, get out of my house, government. But in the other way I'm like, well, you think about the cost of the NHS and you think about how cigarettes are actually really, really, really bad. Maybe this actually does make sense pragmatically. Yeah, and I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> I, I really probably shouldn't bring this up. Execution is everything. Yeah. A game can have the best ideas in the world, but the execution is bad. The game is dog, and also the game could have dog shit ideas, but beautiful execution. Welcome to my favorite genre of video games. <laughs> wow, that sucked, and I loved it. Um, yeah, like uh, I, yeah, I'll not mention abolishing landlords. Um, that was something people were talking about recently. I was like, uh, just fix the problem for it. So I just abolish landlords. And then the, re the housing problem goes away. You're like, and they'll all just uh, go, Phew. they'll yeah. just disappear. Like the government has abolished landlords. They're all gone. No one can find them. Yeah. And you're like, interesting. Um, but, uh, <laughs> oh no, you're like, <laughs> my ma rented out my grandest house after he passed. Oh, my mom's gone. <laughs> yes. Um, so I think like my ultimate takeaway is like, there is a truth in everything he says. But because this is online discourse, no one gets to say, you know, he doesn't say, I actually think that maybe there's a little bit of unintuitive, I'll actually like a highlight specifics. Okay, there may be some unintuitiveness that uh, puts a pretty high knowledge wall or a pretty high access to the right resources wall behind a lot of players. So knowing you have to go to a class discord probably sucks a little bit for, for players. Uh, and also class discords. Okay, no, they're actually really cool and they should exist. But man, you're used to just go to a website and look at a guide. <laughs> That's why the the only reason, like, Wowhead just has the class discord leaders post there. That's mm. why it's... It's amazing. We moved from intra... Isn't it intranet? We moved from yeah. intranets to internet. And now we're almost like, it's as if we're moving back to intranets. Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the whole uh, discord meta is going to be... There's going to be a day where discord... Uh, uh, runs out of VC money and then the whole internet is fucked. Um, uh, move your shit off Discord. Uh, do it now so you don't have to suffer later. Um, uh, yes. So obviously, like the, the 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 real feedback from this line is, it appears that from a lot of perspectives, there's a little bit of complexity in classes. Maybe that could maybe it's complexity in too many buttons. Maybe it's complexity in something else. But who knows. It should probably be better. Sorry, better. sorry, I, I'm bored. I'm looking at the next Antice tweet. Yeah, sorry. Uh, That's kind of the <laughs> issue, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. That's the problem where, like, he can't just say it's a little bit intuitive. He has to have a thing to say because he's on stream on Big. mic. I mean, which is obviously, it's kind of, it's kind of it's similar to us talking here. Yeah. I can't just go, eh, it should be a wee bit better, you know? Because then it's like, well, stream's over and there's no content. Fuck, what do you do? Um, <laughs> so, like, I, I can empathize with that kind of part. Uh, like all like make, make raids easier absolutely definitely it seems that raids being easier hasn't 
It's backed can, up. That is actually yeah, backed it's, up by it's data. It's largely backed up by data up until a point. Of course, we don't know when that point changes, but... Well, the point could, in a way, be us. Because as heroic raiders who yeah. like the old heroic, we now don't have a home. We are yeah. now homeless and wow. <laughs> Ian has a coast that has made me homeless. Yeah. Fantastic. Grr. So, like, there's maybe something to be said for that, where, you know, I, I, I disagree with the more people stuff. On principle, I think that's a call back to a nostalgic era of a load of people in a room. And shared distribution, I think that's not going to work today based on how uh, people playing games of age to more responsibilities, stuff like that is all made smaller group sizes, seem to be better overall, where you look at the likes of, you know, Helldiver's been for. Um, you know, you, you 40 is a big ask today. It was a big ask back in the day, but it's an even bigger ask today. And that's like the, the, the normal version of that, or the the, med- the the if his is extreme commentary, the medium version is that, and then you look at remove all add-ons and go, well, what's the actual problem with add-ons? No one has an no one in the world has an issue with auctionator. TSM different story, maybe that's a bit too much, but no one has an has an issue with auctionator. No mm-hmm. one has an issue with alcoholic or, well, some people have issues with all the things because that technically pushes towards an achiever type uh, and hyper. It's because suddenly they need a 500 gigabytes of RAM Mac Pro in order to use Altaholic across their 5,000 alts. Yeah, so there's stuff like that, but like, like yeah, things like console port's a good example of like, yeah, you, you amazing. No one could look at console port and say remove that. Fuck, Monk is a yeah. mad hero, man. Uh, Click left. I, I don't take the H right off the API. Okay, my use of Auctionator is just to make the auction house. Uh, nice with shopping lists and searches and things like that. Um, so maybe there's more of that. But and like add-ons, like the RP add-ons as well, that's a very good point. Uh, Lundcraft, the RP add-ons are great. So I don't think mm. anyone would have an issue with that stuff, if suggested. By remove all add-ons, I kind of think what Asmogold probably means in some capacity is the game as you play it is on the crutches of Wigors to customize UI and make things easier to see, easier to tell, easier to track, things like that, which is your weak aura is making your UI better and your game less complex or easier to track. If you remove that complexity or change your UI to support it better, then you're sorted. I mean, to hit you in the basics, it's like... Like DBM as well. Like, what if buffs are really important for how you play your game, but Blizzard by default puts them in Narnia? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, which we actually... There's a small thing to talk about that and how the game's changing that way. Ho, ho. Kind of soon. Um, some trinket we works, but... Oh my god. Matt, you're clickbaiting me into yeah. my own stream. I, I love doing that. The other part of that is DBM, where like DBM and weak ores that are uh, mechanical for like boss and stuff. And it's the same deal, where UI can solve that, UX can solve that, uh, stick that stuff in the game so you can like, you know, telegraph boss mechanics, make sure that like bosses have, say, audio callouts that are reliable. So people stop having to have clown horns. So, mm-hmm. you know, you get to hear the boss goes, you know, and with this, you'll all perish. And you go, that's the fucking voice line that does this mechanic. That's I'll move. For before every ability, the boss says, you will fall before my searing strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and obviously they, they have <laughs> like to- the uh, default they- voice chat of Arma 2. <laughs> you know that, you know. <laughs> oh, some, some moon base alpha shit like, uh, yeah. <laughs> So I think that's the like that's the the reasonable version of this, and I'm sure a lot of like what Max is going to say is, yeah, people actually like the game being hard and complex and having the skill wall. It's just skill ceiling and having classes be have a billion spells are not the same thing. Yeah, you can have a high skill ceiling with less complexity, and even then, uh, I think it was uh, Talia some point that I like was talking about this and just saying like. New players are actually enticed into a game by complexity, by the promise of a game to learn and play. There's a lot of games you look at that are very popular and successful, and whew, wow, yeah, action RPGs, uh, MOBAs. Uh, you could even say Valorant, just given the insane map knowledge. Like a lot yeah. of these games end up being truly stunningly successful, where people absolutely love that depth. Yeah. Some um, people like games for being simple and you can just hop in and play and it doesn't take any effort. But for people who want to play a game in depth, there's people who want that kind of stuff instead. Yeah. It's the same with me. And I'm like, I would, I was enticed into playing Grambly Relink by the prospect of a big and engaging end game. 
Mm-hmm. And obviously the gameplay is kind of simple and I play Charlotta because I just mash buttons and I'm a moron basically instead of playing someone harder. But like that's kind of, that's the that's the deal. Like uh, That's wrong. People aren't generally aren't enticed by complexity. They're enticed by the prospect of mastery. Very splitting hairs on that one. I think complexity implies the possibility for mastery in good cases. Whereas some of WoW at its worst, there was no mastery because the complexity was just fucking random bullshit go. I'm like, well, random bullshit go doesn't help me try to get 5% more DPS. It just happens. Yeah, and a lot of what like people did enjoy up. was an yeah. accident of that complexity, mm. like uh, dot snapshotting on a Destro Warlock towards the end of Mob. Now, Af- Aflock, I mean? Sorry, Aflock, yeah. yeah. I mean, Pandemic, just let's go. fucking snapshotting uh, sort of everywhere. Now, the thing is, I actually think there's really cool gameplay in snapshotting, but maybe it's better if a designer takes that and designs that. Good example is, or maybe not a good example, a decent example is Feral, where they go, okay, well, in Feral, your class, but your class dots snapshot with Tiger Fury. It tells you this happens. It tells you when. It does kind of have the small impact of you need a weak aura to track if your uh, if your current rake is still actually, uh, you know, if you have your proc from the random, I can't remember what it's called, do you have the random proc that gives you a stealth rake in combat? Or do you have to shadow meld rake? Or do you have to tiger sphere shadow meld rake to make it bigger? And that's like a UI problem where they should probably have, you know, make it two or three layers and have a different color of rake, rake icon to show there's a big one, there's a small one, etc. Stuff like that, maybe. Um, but yeah, exactly. Exactly that where like you kind of, you, you can support this stuff and the complexities are people. People want to be good at a game. But then World of Warcraft also, and this is where you go to like the killers, achievers, explorers, socializers, you need to have the easier options. But Blizzard have always kind of struggled with this. They've always struggled with the difference between your hard class gives you more damage because it's stronger. Ah, but then everyone will pick it because it's theoretically more damage. Mm. Not actually more damage because you don't do as much damage. And even like simple stuff like, why does everyone play BM Hunter? It's not because BM Hunter is the most fun hunter spec. It's fucking not. It's it's dog shit. Like it's so boring. I I cannot finish leveling a hunter to seventy. My hunter's been like sixty three for most of Dragonflight because every time I log in and do one time walking, <laughs> trying either marksman survival or BM, I'm like I can't fucking do this. Um, specifically BM, but like that's where like uh, the min maxing kind of meta kind of trumps this. But you need a you need a, le- a level of opt in complexity and opt in mastery for well basically, I think that's where that comes from for gameplay wise. That's like that's obviously just do the really impossible thing. Duh, just get that to work. It's fine, but it kind of feels a little bit like that. Like that's the that's the problem. People need to they need they need to be able to work that out a little better. It's very like hero talents and go. Why have you made this more complex on yourself? Why have you made your job harder? Uh. But that's story yeah. for another day. That's story for another well, day. Well, I actually think one thing, you know, as I'm Gold was saying, mm. uh, probably the more uh, uh, reasonable take is like, well, yeah, you can look at some of those hero talents and think maybe this isn't the direction. I, mm. I also think um, right now this, and yes, we've leaned into the joke with the sort of design of this segment, but mm. there's a... Uh, yeah, it's like everything's a celebrity boxing match now. Yeah. But the problem is our ideas have been co-opted by that. <laughs> so, because the, the thing I just think people should really understand is there's every chance if Max and Zach didn't know each other and just were having pints in the bar, started talking about the game they liked, that they'd be mates. I don't know what they're like in person, by the way, at all. These are, I mean, yeah, I don't know. But I just want to point out that when we're looking at any of this drama stuff, just imagine that these people met each other in real life and had a chat. And it wasn't framed as a content thing where Max wasn't being like, or saying, you know, ah, well, I disagree, but I'm going to get bodied by all of his fans. Or you're like, where none none of that existed. And it's just humans having a connection over what they think. Just kind of imagining like a scene from like some sort of, some some, like Grease parody. And it's just like Asmogold rocking up with his crew and Max and his, <laughs> and they're just like dance battling or sing battling. That's across far each other. better. Yeah, uh, that's good. Mm-hmm. So I suppose I don't know. 
I just... I, it just gets me whenever, because like now agreeing with some of that sim, sort of more simplicity thing, it could be a bunch of people who'd be really angry because like, I can't believe you've just backed up what Asmongold said. And I'm just like, no, I'm talking about the ideas. <laughs> um, which just, I don't know, kind of happens. Um, oh, yeah. I've missed that in chat. About yeah. Asmongold and Max did a podcast. They were happy together. In that case, cool. Well, I can't imagine them not being because yeah. that's the point. Well, I guess most that's the pe- problem with people are reasonable. Basically, yeah, if it could fit into yeah. the entice tweet, it's all gone wrong. Yeah, yeah, it goes this, and it's like, here's, well, obviously, like, two layers, this is parody. But it's just, here's just, there's the make, Max to make a response to Asman's wow takes. And you're like, oh, all right, well. And you're like, yeah. And? <laughs> cool. Why is this in caps and bold? <laughs> Fuck, why? Just make it... Well, like, give me a version of that. I don't want to bother with the inspect element, but like, make a version of that. This is the fuck. Go away, computer. Just like right, because you see right down here, a computer behave. Yeah, that looks pretty rough. But what if I just go Max disagrees with Asmon? Asmon, hey, oh, look, one of these is <gasps> stop the presses, and the other is all right. Two lads. two boys don't agree. Yeah, some lads. Been like, I actually think, actually, think that would probably. Uh, I actually wouldn't like that uh, version of the game you, you're, you're suggesting. <gasps> wow, it does mean we have made a whole song and dance of something just to say that we shouldn't make a whole song and dance of it. But I hope that um, in talking with kind of, we must things, co-op the tools of the enemy to destroy them. Yeah, exactly. fight fire with fire. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I know this comment will get lost, but the fact that the high end community uh, goes you. free every time Asman says the game should be less focused on what they engage with, they lose their fucking mind. Um, I don't really agree that they lose their fucking mind. They're clearly defensive of their own thing, but I can understand that from the context of this being ultimately because, like, realistically, this is kind of a consistent push and pull of what people want the game to be, which is why, by the way, you know the. The other thing in the launcher, classic. That exists as a result of the push and pull of what game should be. Uh, where Asmongold generally devolves mm. towards classic. And there's a whole lot of extremely unreasonable things I could say about that. And about people who like prefer classic, but it's, I'm not, cause whatever, fine. But the thing is that that is just that push and pull. And in the rolling snowball of hyperbolic online discussion... It just has to be a fucking blood war. It has to be like, we must, you know, stand upon the battlements and throw boiling oil at anyone who dares suggest the game should be slightly different. And what I like, and that's like part of like community issues overall over, <laughs> go away, mom, I'm purposely shitting myself so I have something to throw on my enemies. Yeah, like people have this like, this weird, They ha- it's not even weird, it's like, People have all of this, like you know the you know the culture war that's kind of happening. The culture war. It's a version of that in like a smaller yeah. scale or different scale where but it's. I think it's just the same. Uh, yeah. It's the kind post-truth of post-truth dynamics. Yeah, everyone has their little like has their the thing they want to protect, and they see they perceive everything as in it. <laughs> the DBZ hyperbolic drama chamber. <laughs> but, nice, perfect. What didn't Toriyama think of? What a genius! <laughs> the culture um, war within. Yeah, <laughs> fandoms are the problem. Um, I think oh there's God. a substantial amount of positivity in fandom. However, I completely agree, and people who consider themselves part of fandoms should probably try to branch their lives out a little bit more because everyone has gone insane. Dude, I've got it. I've got it. Yes. So, mm. somebody said the culture war within. Yep. Now, we all know that Azeroth is blue in the inside. Yeah, But oh whenever Azeroth was getting cracked and broken yeah. in the logo reveal... Mm. The cracks were red. No, the cracks were orange because they just wanted to say blue and orange. They were movie going, poster. They were going there. So, yeah. so is it left or right? Or, or is it red or blue Halo style? In the UK, our left is red. But in the US, their left is blue. Well, to what? be fair... What does it mean? <laughs> what our, is the color theory? <laughs> our left being red does make sense. <laughs> you know... I'll say nothing else. How bad you guys feel about <laughs> Dells? Dude, 
I am fucking, I am hella busting no cap for delves. I <sighs> am not saying anything Can't until I see them on alpha because uh, I have nothing good to say. <laughs> That's it. No, it's I just- As Ross and you are I don't Henry Kisser has Kissinger has in fact <laughs> returned to the world soul of Azeroth. Henry Kisser is a very different uh, verb there for like, um, yeah, yeah. So I think that's kind of the that's the piss taken out of that realistically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>